Caution! The update procedure requires the device to be reset. Please make sure to save your settings on a micro SD card or via the programming software on your PC. Otherwise, all your configurations will be lost. Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to upgrade the firmware uh, of your THD74. First, press menu, go in system and look for the version. Mine is 1.02. Then visit the Kenwood website. Uh, you will find the link in the comment below. And look in the portable section. So just scroll down until you reach portable. The first thing you will need to do, and look for the THD74, the first thing you will need to do is to install the uh, COM port driver. As you can see, all the download files available are over there. So you just click for the COM port driver. It has some instruction. What it says is does it, don't plug your uh, radio uh, to the PC until you install the driver to make sure you have the correct driver. Then go to the bottom of the page and download the THDV74 USB driver. After it's downloaded, you need to extract the file. So go to extraction. Sorry, my Windows is version is in French. And then you extract all the file. My PC is x64 bit, so I will select 64. Most recent PC is 64 bit. Then you click to the application to do the installation. And there you go. And the installation is done. So that was very quick. After you install the Comport driver, go back to the previous page where all the files are and go into the firmware, firmware update program for the THD74 and download the latest firmware. As you can see, the latest one is 1.04, so mine was 1.02. So I will upgrade from 1.02 directly to 1.04. Download the file, and when it's downloaded, you need to extract because it's a compressed file. So do the extraction, extract all, there you go, it will open up the right window and then just click to THD74 V104 to start the firmware upgrade. Then you will have the instruction, okay? First, install a full charge battery pack on your radio, uh, turn the power off, and then plug your cable into it. USB cable, micro USB. Uh, before we do the firmware upgrade, we're just going to check that the drivers are correctly installed. So you plug in your USB cable on your PC and then go in your parameters, which is uh, uh, control manager, I believe in English, <laughs> and device manager. And then you go into COM port and after that, just turn on your radio. And, and then you will see that it detects the radio COM port. And at the same time, it will give you the COM port number. And that number you will need to use COM tree. In my case, you see the THD74 to do the firmware upgrade. Okay. Then we'll go back to the instruction. And what we'll need to do is turn the transceiver on while holding the PTT and the, uh, and the one key to put it in, to be in a state where you can upgrade the firmware. So let's do that procedure. And as you can see, the COM port has disappeared as I close down the radio first. <laughs> and then I will do, like I said, the turn on with the PTT and the one key at the same time, holding all of three of them. And now I'm in the firmware programming mode. Since I already know that it is the COM tree, the only thing I need to know, and then you can see that in Device Manager that I have COM tree, select COM tree, and just click Update. Click OK, and the update will start. 
will take a few moments. As you can see, the radio will come in program. Uh, something very important. On my PC, I have a UPS. So, and it's a stable PC. The battery is fully charged. You can, if you want to make sure, you can also plug uh, your uh, DC cable or your charger directly to the, uh, the radio. And make sure that your PC won't crash on you. Usually it's not, you know, a critical operation just to upgrade a firmware. But make sure, you know, if, if you don't have a UPS, make sure that there's not a storm outside while you're doing it. Uh, make sure you won't have any outage of electricity and, you know, that you won't have any problem with the radio. So if you're not sure, maybe you're not better not to do it. So when the firmware upgrade is completed, it will show on the screen of the radio and on your PC screen. Then you turn off the radio and you will have to turn it, unplug first your USB cable. And then you will have to uh, reset the radio to have the new firmware activate. So you just push F key at the same time as you power on. And then you select a full reset and you select OK. So we did that process uh, before uh, doing the programmation of the radio just because, you know, it's a... Is the first step that you need to do install the driver you will need that to the programming software then you can verify with the same procedure go in the system and look at your firmware and it's done you're upgraded to 1.04